Alright, now, Falco is going to die, basically, no matter what we do here. Yeah, see? Don't do it. Damn it. It's not really a big issue. I'm gonna do this for him because he's dead, but like actually properly dead, not just repairing his ship or anything. But it's not a problem for us because no, that was just bound to happen. I mean, honestly, there was no way of stopping it. At least not without abandoning the wing challenge. Oh jeez. Hate these things. Hate them so much. He needs to have a little bit more shield. Hey, Peppy didn't die. That's nice. I was half suspecting he would. Yeah, I can't hit that thing. Not a problem. Now, this jerk. This jerk is a jerk. We've already seen this, well, twice, because the third time I kind of blew up before even getting to him. But, we are basically as ready as we're ever going to be to beat him. So, let's see if we can. goes with that shit again. Not good. Ah, I didn't even get the ring after all that. Of course, it's a bit of candy that a boss is giving you health rings anyway, but what are you going to do? I wonder if I could hit him with a bomb and actually... No, but I don't need to. Here we go. Dodge it, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. There were a few there, that could have been bad. Oh my god, oh my god, oh jeez. He knows what he's doing now. He has decided to kick some ass. And we broke him, so it doesn't matter. Oh my god, that was pain apparent. But fortunately this phase is not actually that difficult because there's nothing protecting the head. But he drops eggs like the boss on Fortuna, which is actually kind of weird that probably lends itself to a conspiracy of some kind. I don't know what kind exactly, but what are you going to do? Phallic object. I had to bring that up one more time. Okay. Now let's hope we don't die. Now. This is the Super Androx, basically. He's going to kick crap out of us. Well, not right now, because now he kind of sucks, but soon, soon he will attempt to kick the crap out of us. Shooting into the nose. I don't think this form is any harder at all on this route. Uh, maybe he has more health? I don't really know. Seems like he's taking longer to beat, doesn't it? And that spewing, that is where the SNES really starts to show the fact that it can't handle that many polygons at once. Um, it actually is kind of an epic display for 1993 of how much crap can be going on at once. But, 
if you just switch left and right, it's all that uh, crap that he's throwing at you is basically focused at where you are at the time. So if you dodge to the opposite side of the screen, nothing will come at you for a couple seconds. Okay, break this thing. Insufficient. And this is what they do 3 Andros special. He changes into a I don't know what the hell that thing is. And he gains the ability to throw plasma balls. He's quite a pain in the ass. It's not like it's the worst thing in the world, though, because actually, now he isn't guarding his eyes at all. So, as long as you keep barrel rolling to throw away the plasma balls, he's not that hard to hit. Quite a nice thing. And let's see if we can break him. Yes, we can. And that's all there is to that. I have set the controller down, as you might expect. Once again, there is very little left to do at this point. Except now we get to actually show off what happens when somebody dies. Notably, he's not there. I don't think much else is actually going to happen aside from him not being there. Usually when you die, uh, usually when you have a wingman die, I mean, on uh, a stage before this, at the end, when it's showing everybody's status, they'll come in as static instead of their picture. Um, but it's really not that exciting, I don't feel any need to demonstrate it or anything. Because at this point all we have left to do is the black hole and Root 3's little secret. And... Well, yeah, there's... Both of those are basically asteroid field. We're not, um finishing the game after we do the S uh, black hole, by the way. Just showing off what the black hole does. Oh my god, something like that is not very good, is it? But yeah, um, that basically would take us to the asteroid field in either case. Nobody can die by the asteroid field. If you have a wingman going down by the asteroid field, you have to re-examine your life choices. I can swear there's more polygons. I can swear on Route 3 there's more polygons on the Arwing model for this scene, but maybe I'm just remembering it wrong. I don't know. said pretty much everything I was going to say about these guys uh, during their respective fights. can't think of anything... something should be coming to mind for this guy because he's actually pretty interesting uh, compared to the other bosses, but I don't know. This guy is interesting that he has wings, but he doesn't. Re oh, well, he does kind of fly. It's more like a really. It's, it's more like a wing assisted super jump sort of thing. But I don't know. Topic base two. Because the first one wasn't the easiest thing in the world to beat. They had to make something even easy. Well, not easier, but pretty much as easy. And the spinning core, the thing that I still don't understand what the heck the purpose of it is. I don't know if it's a... I don't know if it's an air conditioning unit that goes through the planet, or what the heck is up with that, I don't know. Hmm. 
I'm not sure what the thing commands exactly. I'm just saying, the ships in the Space Armada are significantly bigger, so I don't know why something like this is a commander of anything. But I don't know. And even Andros doesn't get anything special here. Doesn't show off his other form or anything, and it's still ellipses. So I will get to that in Route 3's secret. And la 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 la. These are people who worked on the game. Congratulate them, because they made a pretty freaking awesome game, especially for 1993. But it actually holds up today, even though the controls are extraordinarily stiff. Other than that, I really don't have a single complaint about this game. And the music has already ended. Oh yeah, there we go. And yeah, that's basically it. That was pretty much Route 3. So, we will get to those other two locations sometime soon. Until that, this has been Pierogi Crash. I hope you enjoyed Route 3 out of Star Fox 93. Goodbye.